2017, 60-year-old Lawrence Ray Shiner Jr. was repairing a 145-foot-tall boiler at the Capstone Paper and Packaging Paper Mill in North Charleston, South Carolina. While he was in the boiler, he was buried in an avalanche of salt cake and died as a result of the injuries sustained in the accident. A new wrongful death lawsuit filed by Shiner's estate is attempting to hold Palmetto Industrial Services and Thompson Industrial Services accountable. Palmetto and Thompson were hired by Capstone to clean residue out of the 13-story boiler, and the lawsuit states that both were responsible for making sure that the boilers were safe for maintenance operations before Shiner ever stepped into the machine. Shiner and the co-workers were underneath the boiler when one of the workers heard, quote, a loud rumble. According to the lawsuit, a massive amount of toxic salt cake fell onto Shiner and another coworker. Shiner was buried completely, and the coworker was buried up to his neck. The coworker was pulled from the avalanche, and the plant's in-house rescue staff was at the site in minutes. They tried to dig Shiner out, but to no avail. According to WCSC, the lawsuit states a, quote, failure to properly remove all salt cake deposits accumulated on the interior tubes and walls. According to the lawsuit, Shiner suffocated under the, quote, toxic residual salt cake and died of mechanical asphyxiation. OSHA has cited Capstone, now owned by Westrock, several times for unsafe working conditions. Shiner left behind a wife, two kids, and eight grandchildren. A GoFundMe page set up for his family described him as, quote, a family man, good friend, and union man. I'm David Manti. This is IAN Now.